where do you come to get all your news? You all know, <laughs> no other place than the amazing Washington Informer. Uh, happy Thursday. It's so great to be with you today. I am Misha Green, Managing Editor, uh, and I'm back to you with another fun episode of Win TV Live. We are here today with the amazing, amazing, amazing Warren, who is going to tell us everything about the sensational See Me Gets, which uh, is directed by Taylor Reynolds and coming to Woolly Mammoth very soon. I think opening date uh, is what, like this Saturday, I believe. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk to Lauren about all the amazing things happening. And without further ado, let's welcome Lauren to the show. Hi, hi. Lauren, how are you doing today? I'm doing so well. How are you today, Micah? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you for being with us today. And excited to be here. You know, I, I, we were talking offline. I told Lauren, I, I, you know, I know this is a busy time. It is Tech Week. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, and so I'm just so thankful for you being here with us today. Uh, before we even get into the nitty gritty of the sensational semen minkets, first of all, just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and. Uh, is this your Willy debut? <laughs> yeah. My Willy debut. Yes. So I'm actually I'm from Richmond, Virginia. So I went to school in at George Mason University. So I've been kind of around the DMV area for a, a little while. Um, I just recently moved to New York, but DMV always has kind of felt like home for me. I have a lot of family in the area too. Um, so when I saw that this play was coming i was extremely excited because i also grew up dancing i was captain of my dance team in high school so i was like wait this is for me um so i'm just really excited um yeah to be making my woolly debut i love theater i've been acting since i was in middle school so it's always kind of been a part of my life so just really excited to get the ball rolling well, we are excited for you. Congratulations on Thank your you. Willie Mammoth debut and to be bringing such a, a fun and important show to audiences. Um, I, I need to hear all about it. Tell us about yeah. the traditional semen cats. <laughs> Absolutely. So um, the show is about a dance team at an imaginary HBCU um, and just about the team of the, these six girls and about their lives and everything that is kind of going on with the pressures of homecoming that is coming up. So they are preparing for their homecoming performance. There's a lot of twists and turns in the play. There's a lot of surprises. Um, it's going to be really exciting. It's going to be really funny. Hopefully you will laugh. Hopefully you will cry. It'll make you feel all the feels. <laughs> um, it's very relatable the these girls so i'm excited for audience audiences to see it and tell us about your character who is elise is that is that yes <laughs> tell us about so, elise. i love elise i think everyone in their life at some point has been just that doughy-eyed freshman who is so eager to fit in um, Elise's family, she is also a legacy for the sea minkettes. Her mom was a sea minkette, her grandmother was a sea minkette. So there is, um, you know, a bit of additional familial pressure on her. Um, and she's just, she's just doing the best she can, poor thing. Um, but no, I, I, I love her a lot. She's a lot of fun to play. I feel like I relate to her quite a bit. And I think everyone at some point has um, definitely had an Elise moment. And tell us about the process. I mean, I can't imagine working with this dynamite group of Black women has to be um, just such a, a wonderful and didactic and fun uh, welcome to the Woolly Mammoth family. Tell us about that. Absolutely. It's actually, it's been such a great experience. Um, and I'm, I'm just really grateful to the team and also to Woolly just for pulling everyone together from 
auditions, that audition room, that was the first time that I had been in a, in a room just surrounded by Black women. Everyone was supporting each other. We're all learning these dances. We're all helping each other. It was just such a positive environment to audition in, just such a positive experience from the jump. Everyone that we've been working with, um, the entire cast, um, everyone throughout the production has just been, it's its been a really wonderful kind of safe space that we've uh, created for ourselves in our rehearsal room. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, and yeah, a lot of fun, just a lot of, you know, <laughs> it's just a lot of, we're kikiing all day and it's amazing. Um, so it's definitely, you know, one of the best um, experiences that I have had in theater. So I'm very, very grateful to for that. Um, I'm very grateful that we have Vivian J. O. Barnes who wrote this amazing play and can bring everyone together is is really special. And I'm just I keep saying grateful, but I'm very grateful for this experience and to just be around all of these women every day. Well, I have to say I am so thankful and grateful for you sharing your experiences. It's getting me so pumped up to see the show this yeah. week. <laughs> um, tell us why Vivian J. O. Barnes' script is important and necessary for audiences today. Yeah, I will definitely say we have seen so many different versions of the script throughout the past few months. And every single version has really translated. I think this show you will take from the play, whatever message you kind of decide to take. But somehow she has been able to write these characters in such a raw form. You're able to see their humanity and each, each character is so different but you're able to just get a viewpoint of these Black women, these young Black women in college, 18 years old, 21 years old, and just, they are just allowed to be their most human self, their most disgusting, their most exhausted, their most excited, their most tired. It's it's everything in one and it's it's just so wonderful. I feel like we put so much pressure on Black women to show up with this degree of excellence that is just unattainable. And even if it's, you know, we've all had those times where you go to work and you're having, you know, a bad day or you're tired and it's so-and-so is rude, so-and-so has an attitude, so-and-so must not like me. And it's, no, maybe she's shy. Maybe she's just not having a good day. Maybe she's, maybe she just doesn't know you and it's, it's fine. Um, so it's just, it's just so nice to see emotion that is allowed and accepted throughout this show. And even throughout this process, we're finding, you know, themes of the show as, you know, the pressures of tech and everything is, it's, you know, encroaching in and we're like, it's, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna make it to opening. We're gonna make it to homecoming. All of these pressures are coming around and it feels like the play is seeping into our lives as well. So being able to um, just be around our cast and, kind of remind each other, it's okay to take a break. It's okay that you're feeling this way. You don't have to be on a 10 every day, all day long. If you're here, we will meet you here. And that is fine. Oh, Lauren, I am just so inspired and fired up <laughs> for <laughs> this weekend, for the, this work, for these human experiences. Why should folks come see the show? I think what is really exciting for me that this premiere is happening in DC is this is a very black city. This is a very black show. It's relatable. It's exciting. Um, there's so, especially because it's, it's exciting to see just a bringing voice to our community, bringing voice to these young women, these black women just come out, it's a good time. <laughs> I love it. Come out, ringing voice, making space, having a good time. What else can be better than that? <laughs> oh, the sensational C, Minkettes. You don't want to miss it, folks. 
Before we wrap, I have to ask you, Lauren, because as you see in our background, uh, here at The Informer, first of all, it's Black History 365, but we do it up for Black History Month for sure. Yes. <laughs> um, and this year's theme for the Association of, of the study of, for the study of African American life and history, Asala, the creators of Black History Month, is African Americans in the arts. And so with such a theme, we are trying to make sure we talk to artists about why celebrating the Black arts are important. And specifically, which for those out there who watch the show all the time, y'all know I'm a theater girl and a theater geek all the way. So I have to add this and why Black theater is still important. And, and so can you, can you share, uh, not only based off of this experience that you're having now, which is so specific to, to the question, but in general, why Black arts? Why should we be celebrating Black arts and Black theater? Absolutely. I feel like what we know is that we're always going to show up and show out, and we're always going to show up for each other as well. I think theater, for me, theater is just about sharing experiences, sharing a glimpse in time, a moment, a life. And I think it's important to show our stories on stage as often, as raw, as exciting, as crazy as they can be. Um, so I feel really proud to be able to share this story this month with my community. Um, and I, I only hope for more to come. I think Black theater makers, it's just exciting to see in there. It's exciting to, to work. It's exciting to work with all of these people every day. And, and I think it's important to continue to bring these stories to stage. Lauren, that is a mic drop all the way. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Oh, let me shout out these comments, by the way. Okay, so Tamara or Tamara, I don't want to get it wrong. I can't see the photo because I probably know this person. Uh, says, I want to show, I went to the show last night and really enjoyed myself. Thank you, Lauren and Cass, for putting on an amazing performance. Thank you for ch uh, chiming in and tuning in and giving that great review. <laughs> um, that that That's awesome. I, as you all see, I am so giddy. I cannot wait to see this and see we'll see my cats. I'm just, I'm worried that I'm like going to be in the audience trying to learn your choreos. And we expect <laughs> you to. That, please, <laughs> please do. I'm <laughs> doing it with you. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to share, Lauren, with our audience before we wrap? Please come see the show. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be hilarious. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be unexpected. Um, come on out. We are open now. We, we're in previews now. We open on Saturday, running through March 3rd. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chevrolet, for making sure that that's our producer for making sure that note is there. You all know, like I always say, stay tuned for a follow up article that will give you more information about how you can get ticket tickets, uh, tap into all things. The Sensational Seaman Cats and Vivian J.O. Barnes and the cast as well as all things Willie Mammoth. Uh, thank you, Lauren, so much for being thank with you us. Thank so much, Micah. And thank you for sharing your artistry. I'm looking forward to chatting with you soon and giving uh, you a big hug and cheering you on and the rest of the cast this coming Saturday. <laughs> thank you so much. We're so excited to see you. Yes, thank you all. And as you all know, I got to give you a shout out for tuning in. There would be no Washington Informer without our amazing audience who, su who supports us. So as you know, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go to WashingtonInformer.com. Make sure you have your alerts on for our shows. And have an amazing, amazing rest of your Thursday. Take care, everyone. <laughs>